Okay, welcome back to the video. In the last video, we went from uh, Phobos into our orbit around Mars, and we did our, I guess you call it a TSI burn, a trans Saturn injection burn. So we now have the velocity that we need to get over to Saturn. So let's go ahead now and just kind of first of all check things out. Let me bring up my external MFD. So this is our orbit around Mars. See we're heading away quickly. Altitudes rapidly increasing. And if we bring up TransX, you can see our escape plan here. Uh, we got our relative inclination down, our semi major difference down. <clears throat> we had a really good burn. And if we come forward and look at the eject plan, you can see that we've got a long way to go to get out to uh, Saturn. 5,000. Uh, this number here is when we're going to get there, and that's quite a ways out, close to 2,000 days. So this is going to be a relatively short part, because what we're going to do is just warp time ahead far enough to see if we need to do any kind of mid-course correction. And then once we get to that point, I'm going to stop the video, because it's going to take probably 20 minutes at 100,000x to uh, get over to Saturn, and there's no need to sit here and record all that, so let's back this up. Let's get a good angle. Rotation. Kill rotate. And let's just start warping time ahead so we can pull away from Mars and head on out into the outer solar system. Go out to a thousand. Go out to 10,000. And here very shortly we should leave our escape plan. There it is. And now we're into the eject plan. So in not uh, not too long we'll see about doing any kind of mid-course correction if need be. Go ahead and warp time ahead a little bit farther. I can see actually the closest approach is is going down, not up. So let's go forward and view our encounter. And you can see it'll go back and forth. Might not need a mid-course correction, you know, who knows? Because <clears throat> that burn was uh, pretty spot on, so... Okay. All right, well, like I said, this part's going to take a while because we've got a very, very long way to go to get to Saturn. So rather than sit here and record for, you know, the next 20 minutes while we're just moving forward, I'm going to uh, at least pause the video. Um, if I, I might join two videos together or I'll just make it a separate part. Um, but I'm going to go forward at least, you know, a thousand days or 1500 days until I get uh, much closer to Saturn. And then I'll pick the video back up. I'm not going to do any corrections of any kind, so it's just strictly going to be time warp that you're going to be missing out on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video at this point. And I'll pick it back up when we get closer to Saturn. 
Okay, I wanted to unpause the video for at least a minute or two here. I'm, I've been gone now for almost a thousand days, you know, a little over 900 days. And we're quite a ways out to Saturn, but we still got a long way to go. But what I wanted to do was uh, my inclination as I get to Saturn is almost 90 degrees, which is a polar orbit. And I'd like to start working on that now before I get too close to Saturn. So let me just go prograde here. And I don't think I need to bother with the maneuver necessarily. Let me just see. Translation. Actually, I better do a maneuver. Let me. I don't trust myself to get it right. So let's view encounter on that side and set up a maneuver on this side. First thing we'll do is go to the date and we'll bump it forward. Give ourselves seven minutes, so that's two one eight six. <clears throat> we'll set this to uh, two two. About three six. That should give us about seven minutes to set this up. And we just want to incorporate a little bit of plane change. See if we can get our inclination somewhere closer to uh, zero. <coughs> Let's reset that. That's not looking too good there. Let's work with a little bit of prograde. That's much better. The orbit of Titan around uh, around Saturn is really close to the equator, so we want to have a inclination when we arrive at Saturn that's really close to equatorial. Okay, now our minimum altitude's being impacted quite a bit, so we're going to have to do a bit of an outward adjustment. Now back over to outward. <clears throat> okay, that's really good right there. That's got the inclination all the way down to uh, 2.2 degrees really close to the equator. Let's see if we can incorporate a little bit of plane change now. Let's go to hyper. 2.292 Yeah, that's not doing a whole lot for us. Looks right, like right here is as low as we're going to get it for now. <clears throat> Let me check one thing. Okay, Titan's 
periapsis is 1,186 kilometers. Its apoapsis, 1,000. No, I'm sorry, 1 million. 257,000 kilometers. So let's get our minimum altitude closer to that point. Is that right? Really? Hmm. It doesn't seem right to me, but that's what Wikipedia says. All right, we'll go with this for now. It's close to a million kilometers. Seems awfully far out, but okay. Go ahead and close that out. Bring up the target view. Still got 95 seconds to go. Rotation. And you can see by doing this burn while we're still this far out from Saturn, it's only going to require 57 worth of Delta V, which is relatively, you know, it's relatively low. I mean, depending on the type of vessel you're bringing with you, even, even 57 could be considered a lot. Okay, gonna do the burn in 38 seconds. It's warp time ahead. Translation. Translate the difference. <clears throat> And we'll go with that. Okay, now let's take a look at our encounter. Inclination 2.29, and we're going to have a minimum altitude of about a thousand or about a million kilometers. <clears throat> All right, so I've still got a long way to go, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. And we'll pick up when we get closer to Saturn.